Sweeps all around yesterday. This show, we were 2-0. and Could have been 3-0, but Grayson Rodriguez got scratched from his start. Mark Zeno, who's about ready to join me, he's on an 8-0 Major League Baseball run. And I went 3-0 and last night, sweeping the board, including a 5% winner on the Rockies. Good times all around on the morning wager. And Mark Zeno, I must salute mm. you for a multitude of reasons. Your service to this fine country, your service you. to your clients. Uh, yes. Also, your half of the double play yesterday was the Houston Astros. Framber is the color of your energy, as we often like to say. He was one out away from throwing a no-hitter, so a fine breakdown uh, yesterday on the program. And you are looking at Red Sox Royals today, and I will ask you this rhetorical question. The Red Sox mm. can't sweep the Royals, can they? Yes, they In can. In Kansas actually. City? Uh, oh, they can. By the way, the bag- bagels all around. You get a bagel. You get a bagel and you get a bagel. Just a lot of bagels all around. You know where there won't be any zeros? In this game right here between the Red Sox and the Royals because uh, <laughs> I expect a ton of runs to be scored. By the way, we're going to handle this whole record issue in just a moment because I've had just about enough of this crap on the wagertalk.com page and the leaderboard. We'll pull it just a minute here. Uh, but let me get this play out to the fine people watching. Uh, here's what you get. You get two starters on the mound whose teams can't win when they pitch. Uh, and mostly they can't win because they don't get a ton of run support. So why am I going with the over? Because guess what? Kansas City scores a ton at home. We know how good they are at home. Top five in runs scored, top five in batting average, OPS, WRC+. plus. The Red Sox, you know what they are on the road against lefties? The number one team in OPS and WRC+. plus On the road this season, they're top five in batting average as well. Cutter Crawford is not that good. Cole Reagans is not that good. Even though these two guys typically don't get a ton of run support, don't care. We're going to see runs again today. Uh, We get a favorable spot here, and I'm going to go over eight and a half with the Red Sox and Royals. I I think if the Royals are going to prevent the sweep from happening, it's because their bats stay hot. They've scored five in each of the first two games here. Obviously, the Red Sox have scored 15 over the course of the first two, so um, I know it's sometimes tough to – Continue to play into the over streak here, but the numbers are telling us that we're going to get runs. So over eight and a half, Red Sox, Royals, my half of the double play. Smash that like button if you agree on the over there. Uh, I gave out the Red Sox on Wager Talk today, yesterday, with Teddy and the Prez. That was a winner. And Teddy brought up in his uh, rebuttal, he's like, why not just play the over? And I said, hey, if you want to do that, uh, I won't disagree with you. And uh, it that cashed as well. So hey, over. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Okay. Go, yes, yes. You have a question. Eddie on the leaderboard? I, I don't know. I don't have the leaderboard in front of me well, right well, now. Why don't, you, why don't you just... Okay. And you know, listen. When, oh, when no. Things, I get to get to a place, okay, that I'm not often, a.k.a. the leaderboard. Okay. Explain to me. I see Mark, Z- I me. see Mark Zito on the leaderboard. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm 4-0. and And I'm not at the top or tied for first with the guy who's 3-0. and Wait a minute. You're telling me that I'm 8 0 over the last seven days, and I'm behind a guy who got 11 games wrong. Is that what I'm? Is that what we're saying here? Uh, Mark, I, I, I'd I, like I, to just chime in here quick. I believe it's alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. Thank you. No, I don't think it's alphabetical order. Is it really alphabetical order? No, it's not alphabetical. Because no, because Burns, <laughs> it's, not, it's not alphabetical order. Don't mess with me. It's not alphabetical order. No, Joe, it's not alphabetical order. Okay, thank you, Taylor Swift. Listen, okay, I'm going to shake this off here in a minute. I don't care about ROI. You know what my ROI is when I haven't lost a game? 100% ROI. I mean, what are we doing here? What kind of gorilla math is this? ROI. I haven't got a game wrong. 8 no. Top of the leaderboard. Top of the top. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved in this. No. Uh, check check your unit no, size. Sir. Go back. It's not go back. It's not <laughs> alphabetical order because B U S will be after B U R R S T. So it's not alphabetical. I think they're laughing hard behind the scenes. I don't want to be a part of this. By the way, check the wages. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Eight and oh, I don't get to brag often. Okay. As we know, I'm not that good at this. So I would like to brag at the times that I can brag. I was say. Being on the top of the leaderboard would be nice for once. Okay? I was, I was, I was going to say a lot of other things. Okay? But not leaderboards. And so I 
I would like to, a word with the wager talk management about the leaderboard. Now eight and is thank you top of the board. We can get some. You know, Ted, I'm out here in a minute because I'm going to get really upset. You know, Teddy yesterday had wager talk today had a spirited rant about DraftKings. Prez after that followed it up with, you know, I don't want to get involved with this. He took it, and that's that's what I'm going to say to my good friend Mark Zitto's rant there. My daughter's birthday is coming up. That's where this. You know, you're leaving me in the trenches. By the way, I appreciate you just leaving me. You're you're eight. No, I think you're a fine human being. Okay, I would follow you to the end of the earth. Okay, it's well documented. You're at the top of the leaderboard. You're at the top of my leaderboard. How about that? I've got you rated as the number one person in the United States of America. Okay, right, thank, Dude, let's... You, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sure Brian Powers leader, leaderboard and, and power rankings are really, you know, cracking numbers oh, here. I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll tell you what, you should see some of the right. people that sure, are on that leaderboard right next to you. Anyway, sure. anyway, yeah. I remember two weeks ago when you were <laughs> I, mean, it just, it, I remember no two sense. weeks ago. It well, you... makes no sense. I haven't lost Let a game all week. Check your unit size, sir. All right. All right. Uh, you want to talk about my unit size? Okay, we can no, do that. No, I don't want to talk about your unit size. Because I don't want to talk about it. is adequate. Many people have told me how good my unit size is. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello, to- I'll be on first pitch with Tokyo Brandon tomorrow, by the way. Um, you should enjoy that. Ask him about his unit. <laughs> can I ask anybody about their <laughs> unit? Uh, there you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> It's just going off the rails. We haven't even gotten to my half double play. I remember, by the way, two weeks ago, I was talking to you off the ledge. You were ready to dig up Abner Doubleday, God rest his soul, and tell him what you thought about the sport he invented. This is an evil sport to bet on. It's (laughs) ridiculous. Yes, it is. It it guts your soul. So when I'm on an eight-no run, my God, I'm going to scream it from the damn You want the credit. Well, I'll tell you what. I had a nice 5% winner on Colorado last night. You also backed the Rockies. You had a 4% winner on the Rockies. Uh, And I'm feeling it uh, coming into the show. My half of the double play is going to be on this Rockies-Mets game. I'm going to take Ryan Feltner to record a win plus 240. Let's chase that big money. Mark, Ryan Feltner has not recorded a win since April 12th. Ask me if I care. Uh, Brian, do you care about Ryan Feltner being a complete loser since the month of April? No, I don't. I don't care because you know why? Over the last seven starts. No, because I'm hanging out with winners. The guy who's eight. No, there you go. I went three no last night. Okay. All right. We're we're moving past that, please. Uh, Ryan Feltner over his last seven starts has not given up more than three earned runs. They did win the last time. The Rockies, that is. They beat the Angels uh, in 10 innings. The last time he started, Ryan Feltner, the time is now to record a win, the Rockies. I talked all about it in my analysis yesterday. Uh, you can check it out at my page, wt.buzz.bp. The Rockies so much better at home. We all know that. It's been the case throughout their history. Ryan Feltner is going to get a win today, plus 240. Let's chase that big money price here against the Mets. The time is now, as John Cena would say. All right, we have already promoted ourselves. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, Mark Zinno is on an eight no Major League Baseball run, and I went three and zero last night. Leaderboard would Show- tell you otherwise. Well, okay, yes, we've been that. we've been there. It's again. Let's keep doing it. Joe Ranieri is just having a lot of fun, I think, behind the scenes. All right, uh, do not forget, by the way, about that great. Buy two months, get the rest of August free special. We've going get going on at Wager Talk right now. I mean, my goodness, think of all the sports that you're covered with. You're covered for the NFL preseason, the aforementioned Major League Baseball, NFL regular season, college regular season, soccer, Premier League season start right around the corner. You're covered all the way through October with this great deal, uh, up to a $299 savings. Take advantage now. Click that deals tab at wagertalk.com. All right, show best bet time, Mark. Uh, I have a rant that I'd like to go on right now uh, because our show best bet, any, anyone, uh, no one cares. Oh, just, that's what, they were all hanging on your every word. This is, yes. a, I want to talk about our best bet yesterday, which oh, was okay. the Padres first five. Oh, now you want to listen. The Padres first five laying half a run. The Pittsburgh Pirates tried cheating yesterday because they knew, first of all, I didn't even know I was going to have power for the show this morning. We lost power uh, half the day yesterday because a, a near tornado sense. rolled through Cleveland. And then it went in, it went to Pittsburgh. The Pirates knew there was going to be a rain delay. They let Derek Shelton, whose wife I know, by the way, let the game start. 
Dylan Cease pitched one inning. Of course, he didn't get any runs. He struck out two of the three guys he faced. And then the rain delay came. There was draining problems on the field. So Cease didn't get back in the game. Guess what, Pittsburgh? It backfired. And San Diego still covered the half run the first five. Took them to the fifth inning, though, Zeno. As you know, they scored four runs in the top of the fifth. That was close. But the Pirates tried cheating. And it was a deserved, deserved loss for the Bucs yesterday. With that funny business. The Padres again today. Just, Just because that's bad juju. I'll like, tell you what, Marco Marco D'Angelo, uh, one of the co-founders of Wager Talk, is a better pitcher than Marco Gonzalez. I'll say that. There is that. But it is bad juju, kind of like when you misplace somebody on the leaderboard who's undefeated at the bottom. Okay, the you're, 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 you're really going to hammer that home, aren't you? Okay, now let's talk about well, our show best right. for today. Gets There's right. our best. Do I see Mark Zitto on that leaderboard right there? Um, yeah, all right, bottom. anyway. <laughs> anyway, our show best bet for today. You say, I say, we all say Kikuchi, Mark. Astros at the Rangers, Lone Star Showdown. We talked about at the top, you liked the Astros yesterday. Framber is the color of your energy, almost through a no-hitter. Kikuchi, the Strohs gave up a lot to get him, but my God, what a debut. He had 11 strikeouts in five and two-thirds. We like Kikuchi in the first five today. Do we yeah, not? Tickle me, tickle me some Kikuchi, rock and roll Kikuchi coup, whatever you want to say here. But as much as it is about Kikuchi in the first five, who I think will be very effective again, still the Rangers are proving routinely they can't score a lot of runs. But more of this is about fading Jose Urena, um, who is starting again for the Texas Rangers. One of the plays I had during this eight-game win streak was the last time Urena started against the Boston Red Sox, and I took the Red Sox to win a game. Why? Because Urena stinks, uh, particularly as a starter. He only won four innings, gave up seven runs on eight hits. And if you look at his splits as a starter this year, Urena, okay, uh, is allowing opposing hitters to bat over 250. Uh, he's given up six home runs this year. He's just not a high quality starter uh, anymore in this league. Uh, even though he is better at home, I, 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 those are mostly relief numbers when you look at it. His, his numbers as a reliever were good because he only had to pitch an inning. What happens when he has to pitch three or four as a starter? He ends up getting rocked. I think that happens again here. So Houston will continue to score. Texas won't. Rock and roll Kikuchi coup here. Houston first five. Money line is a show best bet. Comment down below with your thoughts on that one. On the strolls. You're talking about getting Comment rocked. The yeah. Comment on the floor. Talk about you, please. Please, please. Mark Zinno will be sitting dutifully refreshing the comments section here on yes. the show, waiting for your comments on the aforementioned like Wage Talk leaderboard. You talked about getting rocked. I'm going to the Guardians game uh, here at 110 Eastern. I don't know. I'm a, it's a traditional doubleheader. I think they're letting us stay for game two if they want. So I'll so be at Progressive words, Field. We'll be completely useless by about 3.30 p.m. today, Eastern. Yes. Not I if mean, this music kicks in. You will absolutely be what you will be by the time that second game starts. Thank you, leader. Thank you. I've got another three-game package available today. I have two plays up today. Have you subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel? You get great content like this. We dance every day. We give out three free plays every day. We do it all. Joe Ranieri, thank you for putting up with us. Until tomorrow, let's cast some tickets. Back.